guys, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing two of my newest palettes. The first one is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place, and the second one is the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place as well. I am so excited to tell you guys what my honest thoughts are about these, whether I liked it, whether I hated it. Honestly, I was hesitant to buy these because of all the mixed reviews, so I'm gonna give you guys my reviews and my thoughts about it. Before we get started though, go ahead and subscribe down below so you never miss a video and enjoy before we get started i want to let you guys know that these both came packaged super super well it had those little peanut things it was bubble wrapped it came in their little packaging so when i got them nothing was broken and i did see a lot of reviews that people had received theirs and they were all like broken and damaged and honestly that was my biggest worry however these came perfectly fine and i'm just happy we got past that part so Let's start off with the Masquerade Mini Palette. This is what it looks like. There is no mirror, but I'm not complaining. It was $30. The first two rows are very bright colors. They're very vibrant. The two bottom rows are very neutral colors, some oranges, some brown. But honestly, I'm excited that you get two like moods, I guess, in one palette. And I've never really had bright colors, so I'm excited to continue using this. I actually applied this palette on my eyes this morning. I put like a pinkish tone on my eyes. It's lasted all day. I put it on around 6 a.m. and it's currently 6 p.m. So it's amazing. All I did was apply the Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot and then I also applied the L'Oreal Setting Spray and it's been lasting me all day and I wonder how long it'll last me now. Like I'm probably not gonna take it off till eight because girl, look at this color popping, I'm telling you. So the Nubia 2 palette looks like this. Again, there is no mirror on the inside. However, it was $30, so I'm not complaining. It does have some shimmers, some mattes, and the colors are gorgeous. It has a green, blue, orange, some purples, which isn't in the other palette. I didn't get the Nubian 1 because I didn't see any shades that I didn't already have. However, this one was a little bit different, so I had to get it. So in this palette, the pants are way bigger than the ones in the Masquerade palette, but again, this is the mini palette and you do get a lot more shades than the Nubian 2 palette. And I'm honestly super, super pleased with the colors, the pigmentation. The colors are very, very creamy and very pigmented. I'm very surprised. I barely have to do anything to get any color off, like just one swipe and I already have a ton of color on my hands. There's not a lot of glitter, so it doesn't fall off. And again, like I said, I used the mini masquerade palette. I just applied a primer and it lasted me all day. So I'm very pleased with the wear of it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. About the reviews on these palettes the only thing that I've heard of that people are giving negative reviews about this is the way the customer service is or how they're arriving guys you know what palettes come in the mail so if they break that might not even be the brand's problem you know what I mean like people are very very rude when delivering mail so I wouldn't be surprised if your mailman throws them on your porch or does whatever I'm not gonna blame that on the company because Mine was packaged so well, but again, I'm not gonna speak for you guys. I'm just letting you guys know what my thoughts are on it. I was super pleased with how it came. Again, I told you guys I was super worried that it was gonna come damaged. However, it wasn't. It was wrapped very, very well. And I think they're totally worth it. The pigmentation is awesome. It feels very, very soft on my skin. And they're so cheap. Each one is like $30. Yes, it doesn't come with a mirror, whatever. I don't care, it's totally worth it. And I'm so excited because I'm definitely going to order more of these palettes. And I'm going to give this brand a 10 out of 10, to be honest. Like, whoever did this, you go girl or go guy. I don't care. But I'm very, very happy with these. And these are probably the best purchases I've ever made, especially for that price. Like, you can't get better than $30 and this quality. Like, what? Before we end this video, I want to tell you guys what I used on my eyes. 
I use the dark purple matte shade Zobo, the shimmer hot pink color Bori, and then a color from my Modern Renaissance palette. It's like a light purple, and that was just to build up some color for this. And oh, I almost forgot. I also used the Giza eye color, I guess, and that's like a champagne color as well. I think they have that color in the Nubian 2 palette as well. Um, but I used that, and that was just for putting on top of the Bori color just to give it more of a shimmer look. And yeah, just used three colors and one color not from this palette. And my look came out amazing. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see that. You know you did a whole lot of swatching when you have like four of these little makeup wipes full of different colors. What I do for you guys. Alright guys, that is all I have for you guys today. If I ever do have a bad experience with this brand, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'll remake another video because I want to help you guys prepare for the palettes you will order and I want to give you my best and honest opinion. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.